messages by ericiglione.com. Good morning and welcome to the locker room. Coach Ack here, and today I have a very special guest with me, probably the most special guest I could ever bring into this locker room. You can call him Coach Little Ack. This is my 13-year-old son, Nate. Nate, really fired up to have you in the locker room today. You happy to be here? It's an honor to be on the locker room. Awesome. All right, let's start with a high five. This is how we want to start all the messages. Guys, today's message is, they're all tired. And where this message came from is I was watching one of Nate's last cross-country meets of the season, and as you've heard me talk about several times in the locker room, there are a lot of lessons to be learned from that kind of competition. But Nate came to me after his race and actually shared with me some thoughts that I thought were really cool. I thought how special would it be for Nate to be able to bring that directly to all of you, since this is really his message. So Nate, why don't you tell everybody what it means when you say they're all tired? My goal for this race was to finish top five. And I just wasn't there. I was at like 10th or 11th, and I wanted to be up there in the top five. And I was sweating, I was tired, I was hot, and I was just ready to give up and jog the finish and just accept my position. But then I noticed, I looked ahead, and I noticed that everyone else is just as tired as I am. And there's no way that you can really substitute anything for just putting in the extra work at the very end. And at the end, I pushed it, and I beat them. It was and really cool to watch, They right? were just as tired as I was. You know, it, it's an interesting thing. As I was watching this happen, you know, and I could see that Nate was really dragging, you know, sweating. He was gassed. He was just exhausted. But then all of a sudden, he started to pass one runner at a time, just in the last few hundred meters, just bang, bang, bang. And really what it teaches us is that in anything in life, and you could really do this anywhere, right, Nate? Yeah, you can it, do it in studies, anything, in work. Absolutely. You know, we know a lot of people are pursuing a career. They're looking at big dreams and big visions. And for everybody that watches this locker room, it's all about finding that extra gear. It's what separates the winners from people who are just average. And the reality is it's easy for all of us in life to want to slow down or jog the finish, like Nate said. But when we realize that everybody else, the people that we think have an advantage, that are always lucky, the ones that always seem to be in the right spot, they're just as tired as we are. The difference between the people who win and the people who are just okay is that they push at the end. They find that extra gear. They dig deep. So today, let's all dig deep. Whatever we're working on, whatever we're pushing towards, whatever we see in front of us, let's tackle it with all the enthusiasm we can. And even when we're tired, remember, everybody else is too, and let's just bring it home. And Nate, when everybody does this, when we dig deep together, what are they going to be living? They're going to be living their, their very, very best, best life. There you go. I love it. Thanks for coming in, Nate. We love it. Guys, thanks for being in the locker room today. Make it an amazing day.